In today's tutorial, you will learn the necessary step to master the Gengar, but this time I got professional help that will teach you this freestyle calisthenic skill. No other than Pauls Jemeljanov from Latvia. He's been doing street work and calisthenic for over 10 years together with his crew, and they are crazy. Yo, what's up? My name is Daniel Flefel, and I'm usually the teacher of these freestyle calisthenic tutorials, but today Pauls will teach you how to master the famous freestyle skill Ganger. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this tutorial. Hi, my name is Pauls and I will break it down to you guys how to learn your first Ganger. I will take you through 8 steps that will get you closer to landing this skill. I will try to explain in as much detail as possible. Let's start with the first step and that is prerequisites. First thing you need is a proper swing and a clean gainer. Both of those tutorials you can find in this channel. One extra thing, but it's not super necessary, is being able to backflip. This will just help you being comfortable with doing flip. First thing you need to do is a castaway. This means gaining momentum with your legs only, while kicking forwards and upwards at the same time. When you're coming backwards, first thing you want to do is pull yourself upwards with the straight arms. When you start moving forward, push your head in between your shoulders. You use this type of swing to gain momentum with your lower body instead of using upper body strength. You need to understand when and how much you need to twist your hips. When you're underneath the bar, turn your hips 90 degrees to the side. If you twist your hips too early, you're not gonna get the height that you need and you're gonna have the wrong direction for the flip. If you twist your hips too late, you're risking a chance of hitting the bar with your arms, legs or even the face. So please be careful. When you have twisted your hips 90 degrees to the side, that's the moment when you let go to one arm. The side you twist to is the side that you let go of the arm. Don't bend your arms, have it locked out all through the movement. The arm that you let go goes beside your hip. So after you flip, you're ready to catch the bar. You should look diagonally 45 degrees to the side when you're doing this step. After you have done the previous steps, you need to kick diagonally around 45 degrees, exactly where you're looking at. This helps with the rotation and seeing the bar earlier. You only need to extend your knees and not your hips. This is gonna be a drill to understand the rotation and how to land facing the bar. Stand in front of the bar approximately one meter away. Jump towards the bar and grab onto it. Do the previous steps that we went through, but as explosive as possible. The goal is to land in front of the bar facing it without grabbing onto the bar. Practice with a mat and start slowly. This means taking breaks between the attempts and a tip is to record yourself to track your progress and see what you can improve on. The goal in this step is to practice gaining height and perfect distance to catch the bar. Start with a small swing and then do the previous steps that you learned. Now when you take a bigger swing you need to hold on to the bar a little bit longer. This is to gain extra height instead of moving forward. In this step, you don't catch the bar, you just reach for it or maybe tap it. Repeat this until the technique feels comfortable and you have control over your body. Now put all the steps together and send it. In the beginning, most of us are afraid of falling, but it's a part of the game. Here are some mistakes that I see people doing while learning a ganger. You can avoid them to progress faster. If you let go of the bar too early, you're not gonna have the time to rotate through the flip. If you let go of the bar too late, you might hit the bar and hurt yourself.
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more tutorials like this one. And thank you Pauls for making an awesome tutorial for the people and if you want to follow him on IG you can find it right here or his own brand Racing Hard Steady Mind. I hope this tutorial helped you guys to understand how to land your first ganger and shout out to Daniel for having me out here in Sweden and we are gonna come back with another tutorial with you. Subscribe, Subscribe and see you in the next video. video. Coma? It's yeah. like coma. Yeah. And see you in the next video. Subscribe. And see you in the next video. Okay. Subscribe, Subscribe and... and <laughs> <laughs> you started and I was like... I was like, one more second.